Yo, what is up guys? I am here and I'm going to be doing an episode on Satisfactory and I have not done this on my channel at all yet, but I want to start a series on it. I want to start uploading more. Um, my plan is going to be to try and do one video every Wednesday because I don't want to do one like every day or anything trying to overwork myself, especially with school starting again. Um, so I'm going to be kind of taking it slow, but I'm hoping to get a video out every week and maybe also one stream, maybe on Saturday or something. Um, that's kind of the plan, guys. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to be doing some Satisfactory here, and if you guys don't know what Satisfactory is, it's basically just a game where you kind of build a bunch of machines, and you kind of like, um, like build it like conveyor belts between them, making different products out of like metal and stuff like that. And then you just keep making more and more stuff. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's in early access, so like it's not really like uh, it's not fully released or anything. So there's not a whole ton in the game. I haven't beat it before. I played it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna kind of making some videos on it. Um, see how far we get. I'm not sure if there's really much of an ending to the game. If there's really a storyline, but we're gonna kind of just having some fun messing around, guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit straight into it. Hey guys, what is up? We are here in the new game menu, so we're gonna be choosing a little bit of the settings here. Um, so we have four different maps that we can choose from, and I'm not entirely sure which one we want to do, but like this one says, ideal for first time pioneers, uh, suitable for first time, more experienced and advanced. So I played the game a little bit, but I think I might just go for the original one, and maybe if this series does really good or something, we can go to the second, third, and maybe even fourth ones where we do series on those or something. Not really sure, but uh, for a name, let's just... Go to best series ever because you already know it is. Yes, sir. Um, we want private. Um, skip intro. Enable to skip the onboarding process and start the game at tier one. Um, well, let's just start it. Let's just get straight into this, guys. Okie dokie, guys. Here we are. And this is interesting. Pull lever. Attention. All right, what's up, bro? Okay, that's pretty cool. We get a little drill there. He just sucked the rock and okay. And now he can barely move. Okay, that's cool. That's it, guys. Well, I guess we're just gonna go straight into this. Okay. Some tough levers to pull. That's pretty fancy. We have a taser. Blast some things with a taser. Okay. And here we are, guys. There's a baddie over there. Massage too. Akicha. Oh, that's nice. Well, I guess we did it. Okay, that is a poison theory. Okay. Open the codex. Okay, that's cool. I didn't mean to do that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so a 
Oh, you swing scan for iron. Those things are so cool. So this thing, this one over here is closest, it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and head over here. Uh, pick up some leaves and stuff. I believe I can use for biofuel to make power and stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and go to this iron thing and then we can get some iron from that. It was a triple iron vein. Actually, I think there's four. Quadruple. Wow, oh, we got some baddies though. Alright, got me. That was easy. This one's impure. This one's impure. Are these all impure? Another bad guy over here. Got him. This one's pure. Well, the mine is pure, actually, but this is pure. Okay, that makes sense. So these you can actually put, like, um, mines on, I think. But this should give me a lot, because it's pure. Yeah. Build the hub. The hub. Ooh, okay. We have more iron over there. Okay, so we're definitely by a lot of iron sources. Oh, there's a guy here. Okay, so here, these are milestones, and we can actually unlock more tiers. Um, and then just unlock a bunch of more stuff that we can make. So, we want to do this, and we need 10 iron rods, which we need iron ingots for. And here, we can just pound, yeah, iron ore that we just got into iron ingots. And we need 10, and one ingot is one rod. So, we just need 10 ingots, and then that obviously makes 10 rods. So make sure we can basically craft a bunch of resources. Eventually, we can actually um, automate all of this and have it go into like storage buildings. So we don't actually have to craft them, but for now, we're gonna have to craft them. Okay, put that in there. Upgrade. There we go. Now we got a little bit more root. Okay. Okay, cool. So what's the next tier? We need 20 of those and 10 of those. So let's just go do that. But let's actually, let's try and build a miner. So we need the equipment workshop for that, I think. Which is six of those and four of those. So let's go ahead and just turn all of this into ingots really quick, guys. And go ahead and make all of these rods and plates. Alright guys, so we got all of the rods and plates that we need, and now we can go ahead and build this workshop. And this actually looks pretty cool. Um, so we can't build it like on the hub, I don't think. Um, and so we're going to have to build it like over here. So let's just go and do that. There we go. I'm going to walk into here and we got some, some good stuff. Now in here we can build another one of these if we need one. But we definitely don't need that yet, nor do we have the stuff for it. And we also can make these, which is iron rods and iron plates. So we're gonna need a little bit more iron though. Um, so I'm gonna mine up like one more of these nodes for iron probably. Uh, and then we can go back and craft that. And basically what that's gonna do is actually, um, we can just sit it on this node and it'll just mine it like while we're doing other stuff. And then we can come back and just grab the iron ore. Um, eventually we'll get like the big miners that can actually, um, just completely like automate it and do it through a conveyor belt these portable miners won't be able to do it through a conveyor belt um so this is going to be kind of like temporary probably only like one or two maybe um i think i'm just going to do one for now though um so yeah let's go i think we needed like two of those i think i don't remember and then like four of these but i'm gonna make a little bit extra i don't remember because the exact amount um perfect we can make one there we go. Now we can take this portable miner and we can go and put it on this iron node and we can uh, get them the iron mining. Then we can work on the, um, there we go. 
and we can work on the next hub upgrade. So it's mining. It's not very fast, but it's getting there. So now let's go ahead and go and see what do we need for the next hub upgrade. Okay, so we need 10 plates and 20 rods. So really, we need a decent bit more iron. And we also have a storage box here. It doesn't really have anything in it. Let's go and put some of those things in there. We don't really need those yet. Okay, so it was like, what, 10 plates and 20 rods, I think. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't paying attention. Let's just look at that real quick. Um, yeah, 10 rods, and, or 10 plates and 20 rods. Alright, let's see how much this guy has. 17, 18, and not that bad. Okay. Hopefully that should be enough to get the 20 rods. I think we had a little bit extra. We would only need one more. You gotta be kidding me. That is crazy that we actually just need exactly one more. We can probably just mine it right here, but I'm just gonna grab it from this guy. There we go. Run all the way back over here. It seems like it takes forever to run there, but it's really not that far. And we can go ahead and craft all of this into ingots. I really wish to make 20 into it. Uh, just to save a little bit of time, and then we can make all those into rods. It's nice because rods only take like one hit with a hammer, I guess. Um, uh, actually, I actually did all of them because I was talking. But like ingots take like three hits, and plates I think take two. I'm not sure. I don't remember. We just need 20 of these. There we go. Okay. Select milestone, put both of those in, upgrade hub. There we go, and I'll be able to, so let's see what's new. I mean, there's a wall here now, so that's kind of cool. Um, we got a little room in here, that's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, well, we can actually put this stuff Okay, you done wait on Okay, I think they're done. Okay, so we need to scan for copper now. Actually, let's go and wait. There's one like not that far. I wanna actually make another portable miner to go and bring over there. So let's just go ahead and grab a little bit more iron from here. And we can go ahead and go over here. Alright, so we needed like... I think it was two plates and four rods. So I'm going to get 20 um, ingots here. We can go ahead and make like six, I guess. And I think it was four of these, but I'm going to make like six. Or nine, actually, because that was really fast. <laughs> um, here we go. Uh, we actually make two of them, but I'm just going to make one. I don't think we really need two. So, we'll rescan for the copper. I get copper over here. So, we got to go around this hill. So, eventually, we can probably run a conveyor belt with the copper on it over here. Here's some food. We can use that to heal up if we ever get in a dangerous fight with someone. Grab all of this for our biomass burner. Okay, it's right over here somewhere. This different, another different kind of food. Let's see, okay, it's right down here. Uh, well, I don't take too much damage. I don't even take damage. Okay, there's one bad guy right there, but I think that's it. I think. This is impure. Alright, come on, big boy. Let's go. What do you got? Okay. Come on. Ow. Okay, you're fast. I get it. You did. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a little bit of copper here. 
Oh, it actually makes cracks on it. That's cool. I didn't notice that. Then let's go ahead and place this down. There we go. Okay. So then we can go ahead and head back real quick. And we can go ahead and... Uh, now we have a little bit of copper. We should have enough, hopefully, to make a smelter. And then we can use that to smelt down um, iron and other stuff like that. Yo, what is up, guys? We are back and we have the smelter. And we're going to go ahead and place it down right here. Um, yeah, probably right about here. Uh, we got the stuff for that from the copper we got. Um, and we're going to go ahead and set it to make iron ingots for now. So there we go. Um, then we just need to go ahead and take some iron and put it in there. Actually, wait, we need power. That's right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and need to build a power cable now. Which we don't have a cable. So we need to make cable. I think we have it learned in here. Yeah, and it's two wire for one cable. And really, we only need one cable, but I'm going to make three just to have a little bit of extra on hand, you know. Uh, this cable is actually really useful. Um, make a power line from here to here. And then we need to put all of these leaves we got in here. Did I just throw it out? Yep. Shift click. There we go. And then that'll make power. It won't really make like a lot of power, but it, it should be enough to fill at least one smelter. I guess I took out the leaves in there. Okay. So now that that has power, we just need to go grab some iron. And then we can put the iron in there. And there we go, about 98 is perfect. We got it right before it uh, capped out. I'm actually going to grab this, though. Because this is pure iron, and this is going to be like 6 each time. So I'm just going to mine it really quick. Get a little bit extra. I think this can only have like 100 in it at a time anyway, so I don't think it actually matters if I had more than 100. But... And 100, there we go. I don't think you can have more, right? Nope, okay. So now this just this uses 4 megawatts, and how much are we producing, though? We're producing uh, 20 meg. Oh, no, we're producing four, but our capacity is 20. Doesn't make any sense. Maybe we are actually producing 20. I'm not sure. But now we can just have this automatically smelting iron and gets. So that's really good. Um, and then now we can go ahead and we don't have conveyor belts yet, do we? We don't. So we need to get another hub upgrade. Which gives does not give us um, conveyor belts yet. Yeah, that's annoying. So for this, we need 20 wire, 20 iron rods, and um, 20 plates. And I realized that if you actually select the milestone, it actually shows up in the top right um, all of the resources that you need for it. So now I can just make everything that we need. Um, so here we go. Iron plates, we need 20. Perfect. I'll get 20 real quick. Now, I'm not going to have enough iron for to get that 20. But, because of the smelter, I can just run over here, bang, 37 more iron, refill that, and we're chilling. I can jump on over here, go back in here, and make the 20 rods. Then I have enough stuff for 20 wire, and wire is just copper. Um, I needed that for the smelter. Um, and get 20 wire. Perfect. And now we can go ahead and put all of this stuff in. Upgrade hub. Bang. Okay, cool. Now we need conveyor belts. So let's just focus on like instantly getting this one. Because we really need conveyor belts. So we need 20 cables, 75 plates, and 10 concrete actually. Okay, I guess we actually can't quite... She's done, guys. Okay, so we actually are going to need to go find a limestone deposit. Okay, only 130 meters. That's not bad at all. I think it's showing one. Maybe was it right there? I'm not sure. It seemed like there was a high bed over there. Oh, I should be grabbing leaves whenever I go out. Okay, I don't like this. Oh, it's right over here. Okay, cool. It shows one like that way. I'm just gonna do this one. There's two here. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. We picked up two of them. That one was kind of a little bit more intense than before. Now, let's go ahead and put our little portable miner right here. There we go. Actually, so with these nuts as well as the berries, you can actually eat them and get food. I'm actually going to eat one of these. There, or not food, sorry. <laughs> you can actually heal with them, so that's actually pretty cool. And this is mining a limestone. Um, and I don't remember how much, I think it's three for each one. So I'm going to try and get 30 for each concrete, sorry. I should explain more. Limestone makes concrete. Um, and I think it's three limestone for each concrete. But I don't remember exactly. I kind of like the cracks in the rock whenever you mine it. It's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and get 20 here. Then hopefully this would have gotten 10. Almost. Let's grab this. Grab this and we'll mine one more. There we go. We'll leave that there to just continue to produce. And you see it's really not that far away. So doing a conveyor belt once we have that unlocked won't be that hard. And I think I want to work on putting them all just into like a building. Um, and just have, making like a factory kind of. You know. So let's go ahead and go over here, and then we need the 10 concrete. Let's see, so was it 3 for 1? It was, perfect, I remembered. Okay, cool. That's awesome. So we have exactly enough. Bang, and then what else do we need? We need to select the milestone, that way I can see it. Why didn't it select? There we go. Actually, we can actually put the concrete in there. So that one's finished. Now we're going to need tw 20 cable, which means we're probably going to need some more um copper yeah for sure so let's go ahead and go and get this and then i'm gonna go ahead and run over to the copper and grab that um and then go ahead and uh, make it into the cable that we need hey guys we're back and we got the stuff that we need for the hub upgrade we got the 20 cable we also got all of the iron plates so we can go ahead and get this upgrade guys this is a pretty big upgrade because we just unlocked uh, conveyor belts. As well as power poles. I think that was the last one though. We have conveyor belts now. Um, but we still don't have a miner. Which I think is in this one. Yeah, we need this miner. That way we can actually extract the, uh, the ore straight out of the miner into a conveyor belt. So let's go ahead and just work on just getting this one really quickly. So we need 75 rods, 50 more cable. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. And then 20 more concrete. So let's see, do we have enough? We might actually have enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So I guess we actually do have enough copper, guys, to actually make all of this cable that we need. Um, and so hopefully we need this up hub upgrade 5. I think I'm going to go ahead and be back once I actually get this, all the stuff for it. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, we're back, and we have all the stuff for this next upgrade. So we're going to give this last upgrade, and we're going to unlock the miner. So now that we have the miner unlocked, we need to build that. She's probably about to start talking. Um, but we need portable miners for that, so it's actually, I'm actually going to go ahead and go around and get all of the portable miners from the different things. I actually moved the portable miner to that limestone because I realized it was a lot closer than the one like over there. So I figured that would be a little bit easier. Okay, so let's get this iron one. Then we'll go over there and get the copper one and then we um, will be able to make three miners and basically we can just take the miner and put it on one of these nodes and then as long as it we just have to hook it up to power um but we have two biomass burners now that's cool that was with that bright latest upgrade i think um so then we can actually uh, here's our copper or over here and then we can use conveyor belts put them straight into smelters and then as long as we have power it'll be automatically making that stuff and if we even want to go further than that, we can even um, go ahead and do like, uh, like we can put the uh, ingots into constructors that will make rods or plates or wire, that kind of stuff. And then that way all this stuff will just be like automatically crafted. Got some, some trouble over here. Okay, this is bad. 
why this guy is the only like the hard part about it is you just have to hit him like once. But once you hit him once, they're basically like stunned and then you're good. So it's really not too bad. Um our base is this way. Right, yep, I knew that. It's going the right way the whole time, guys. Didn't question it at all. Totally not. Nope. No, I've been going around. I've also just been picking up leaves, guys. Um, just to keep the biomass burner going, so we get the smelter on. We can keep whatever else we're gonna put down, which is gonna be the miner soon. And then that way we can actually um, just keep it out. We don't really have to focus on specifically going out and getting the resources, which we probably will eventually, because um, once we have all the conveyor belts here, we really aren't gonna have to go around that much until we need like a different resource that we don't have. So all that leaves I just got, I'm actually gonna put in the second one. Bang. And then now we're making a lot more power. And the these should actually also burn slower because they have. Um, I'm actually gonna do this a little bit different. I'm gonna put down a pole. I don't have the stuff for a pole. I need more cable. I'll just make a little bit of cable really quick. Actually, I have plenty of that. What am I doing? So we need a little bit of wire for the pole, and we also need like a little bit of cable. See like five cable. There we go. We also need a little bit of concrete, and I think it was a rod as well. So let's just go over here and make like a few rods. Now let's go back over here. Let's go and get the power pole. Let's make the pole like right, right about here for now. Let's go ahead and get rid of this power line. And let's go ahead and put both of our generators to this one pole. Let me just put this pole to there, and then uh, we can actually build this pole to a second pole. Because these poles, you can see, it's now like four out of four. So I can't put any more lines in this. But now I have this one, I can put three more in this one. Um, so that's kind of the strategy that I made up, I guess, kind of, um, with using that kind of stuff. I think we can grab that out of here. We can go and store our inventory, actually. That makes it a bit easier. Now let's go ahead and work on making the miners. Um, so basically, I think they're over here. No, 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 no they're in here. Uh, miner, mark one. Okay, so I have the three portable miners. Then we need 30 total plates because I want one for the iron, copper, and uh, limestone, right? So we need 30 total plates and 30 concrete. How much? Oh, we don't have enough concrete though, do we? We do not. Um, so that kind of sucks. We're going to have to get a little bit more concrete. But, I mean, it should be fine though. Let's see, how close are we? We just need four more. Okay, that's okay. Then we need a 30 plates. So let's get the 30 plates and then we can go ahead... Go get a little bit more concrete. We literally just need, what, 12 more? Because we need four, three for each. So yeah, just like 12 more. Um, just real quick, go mine that. But honestly, we don't even need the miner. It's like right here, so we're chilling, you know, it's fine. Um, but then once we have that, then we can run it into... I'll probably build like two more smelters. Oh, this is better limestone too. This like The other one was impure. This is normal, so it should produce more. Um, it's not pure. So it's not like the best it could be, but it's still better than the other one. Okay, that's funny. Well, just, like just enough. Um, so then we can probably just have like a row of like three smelters and maybe into some constructors. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. Uh, not that. We need to go to here, make more concrete. There we go. So now we have 31 concrete and now we can build three of these guys. So let's start with one, we can do it on this one. Oops, let me do that. Go over here. Build one miner right here. There we go. Then we need to go over to the copper. So somewhere over here. Yeah, 190 meters. It's not too bad. Not as close as the limestone, that's for sure, but still not that bad. Grab all of these leaves while we're running around. So we might as well, it just kind of saves time. Oh, there's a lot of leaves right here. Holy crap. Right. Oh gosh, I might take fall damage here. No. I thought, I'm pretty sure fall damage is game, the thing in this game. Now, I might actually do it on this one. That way I can actually just go up the hill with the conveyor belt. Because you can actually do like withers in it. It's pretty cool. I need to mine this out to be able to put it there though. I think it'd be easier than going around. I can just go straight over it. So let's go ahead and do it like this maybe. 
Is there one that's even further over? No. I don't know whether or not this is actually going to work. We'll see. Um, that's not going to be mining it though, so I actually need to bring power over to it. Which means we need a lot of power poles in order to actually like extend the power lines really far. So let's see, what do we need for a pole again? We need concrete. That's frustrating. We're also going to need a lot of cable um, for the lines going in between them as well. Okay. So let's make a little bit more cable. Means we need wire first, obviously. Let's get like 20 cable ish. I think that should be good enough. Um, and then we also need more concrete. So we'll go ahead and set up the concrete miner first. Um, we also need some more rods. I don't actually think that one pole is going to be enough to get over there. But we'll just have to see. So we're going to run it from this pole. We see, oh, we need normal wire as well. I forgot about that. So we're going to need... Let's just make all the rest of this into wire real quick. You get like 20 wire. That should be okay for now, even though it's like three each. Alright, so we can pull it from... Actually, no, we have to do it like this. Here we go. We can go over here. I don't know exactly how far this will reach. Well, it reaches like all the way over here on one pole. Perfect. Connect this to this. And then this should just mine up the limestone. The limestone, I mean. There we go. And then we can do conveyor belts and other stuff and things like that. Um, but now let's go ahead and actually we need to grab a little bit of limestone now. Okay, so this doesn't this definitely mines it faster, but let's go ahead and mine up a little bit of this. So I probably want around like a mm, how much concrete are we gonna want? Probably like twenty ish. In order to make enough pulls to go to the copper. So I'm actually just gonna get like um, a good bit from this, and then we'll, we'll get up to 30 from this, and then we'll see how much is in here. About 28, let's wait for 30. You got 20, that should be fine. I don't think we're any more than 20 bowls, honestly. Um, so let's go ahead and do the copper one next. Um, honestly, we could probably actually just run a wire from here right to there. Perfect. But then we're going to need to do, we need the concrete. We need to make the concrete. I forgot it. Go over here, concrete. It shouldn't take too long. Make a quick 20 concrete. And then we can just run power lines over the copper. We're also gonna conveyor belts. I don't know if we're gonna do that this episode though. Um, Cause I don't wanna progress way too fast, but I also don't wanna be too slow. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> okay, All right, let's actually place another power line right here. Now that we can do more stuff right here. Cause that other one was gonna be full with this power line. Wire is too long. Place the first one right here. Let's go ahead and scan for copper just to be safe. That messed mine up. Dang it. Uh, power line. Here we go. And it's this way. So this way we can go straight towards it. Can I go down here with it? I can. And then we can honestly just... Let's actually put one down here though. That would be a little bit easier. There we go. And we don't actually... Okay, we don't have the lift things that I want to do for this. We don't have those unlocked yet. Um, or we might be able to set up with conveyor belts the iron one a little bit, as well as maybe the limestone. Um, but I'm not really sure yet. We'll kind of leave the copper for now because it's kind of far. Um, but let's go ahead and... Maybe we can run the conveyor belt right into there. Let's see, uh, logistics conveyor belt. We need more plates, so. And then I might, I don't know. What's, what do we need for the next hub upgrade, though? Select this milestone. Uh, that's quite a bit of stuff. Honestly, I might put up this um, conveyor belt, and then that might be, I might call it for this video. Because um, I think we did, we did quite a bit. You know, we got miners on all of them. We just don't have the conveyor belt set up yet. Um, I think this should be enough plates, I think, because, like, the longer the belt, see how the plates get more expensive? I think we can just run this straight to here, though. 
perfect. And how is the fuel in the slogan? Um, pretty solid. Let's go ahead and split this. 100 there and 100 there. Okay, it's doing pretty solid. And now this should automatically get iron. Also, I place this backwards. But let's see. If this, this is really slow. Oh no. We're gonna have to get better conveyor belts in the future. This should work, right? Yep. Isn't that awesome? So it just runs it into here and then it auto smelts it. And then, you know, maybe if we want to do a little bit extra real quick, we can do, uh, we need to get a little bit more plates. Oops, I did that again. Okay. So we need a little bit more plates, which I think actually means we need iron, right? Yeah. Okay. Actually, wait, we have like 60 iron. What am I doing? We just took it out of the thing. Okay, so we need plates for a storage container. That way we can just run the iron tray in a storage container. So then basically, as long as we have power, we're gonna, um... We're basically gonna have iron being made constantly, you know? Let's make all of this into plates. We're gonna need a lot of plates if we want to run a conveyor belt all the way from like the copper and limestone areas. So we're gonna need a lot more than what we have anyway. So let's line this up to where it like fits perfect. So you see that uh, blue line right there, uh, right in the middle? That means it's lined up like symmetrical. I think this isn't too close. I think we can run a conveyor belt right here. You can see it, it's like pretty much straight across. And this will start holding iron ingots. Now we can also move this later and end up making this go into a constructor, which would then make like plates or it would craft it into rods, that kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, um, I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, we got a lot done in this episode. Got a lot of machines going. We got a little bit of automation here going. Yeah, it's not really that crazy yet, but. Anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.